Hi, my name is Jose Montes. I'm the quality manager for Campania International and today I'm going to show you how to assemble the FT118 Modern Fountain. We will go through the components of the fountain and then we will go through the assembly. Well, here we have the components of the FT118 Modern Fountain. This is our basin. This is the piece that's actually going to go on the floor. And we also have um, our top piece, this piece goes right on top of the basin and then followed by that piece over there. And there's a spiller stopper that goes inside this, these two components as you'll see through the assembly. This is the pump cover that will be added to the inside of the basin and will cover all the pumps and the egg light. Then also with your components you will receive a kit that will include the egg light, a uh, spiller, copper spiller, that goes on the top piece, the pump, and some assembly items. Then we also have a pre-assembled tubing that goes in the back of the fountain. Two galvanized pipes that keep the fountain steady, some silicone to put the parts together and keep the water from spilling, and these are the components that we will be using throughout our assembly. In this segment we're going to show you how to assemble the egg light which is used in several of our fountains. Uh, here you have um, a, a base that will go in the back of these two. These two plastic holders are the ones that are going to hold the egg light. You can see the egg light has a long cable and then there's a connection that goes to our plug. Keep in mind that this part stays outside of the water area of the fountain. That's why you have so much cable here. You want to keep some cable inside then this connection should stay outside and close to where the plug will be outside of the water. You have these two bases that are going to come together. You want to take some of the cable from the egg light and it will be assembled on the side of it. You want to keep this middle hole without the cable because that's where you're going to assemble the nut from this base and that's what's going to help it keep steady on once you put it all in. So once you have this here then you're going to put your other piece on top just like that and then give yourself some room so you can work with the nut. This clips in. Now you take your base put it underneath and the cable should come neatly on the side. Take your nut, screw it in, now you can pull the cable a little bit for the egg light and there goes your egg light. And assemble these together and then also our you have different color mirrors that you can put on the egg light if you want to add some color to your uh, fountain and light assembly. We have leveled our basin on the modern fountain and uh, we will have to level it again as we put some of the components on top of it. Um, now we're going to proceed with the pump assembly and the egg light assembly. Now we have already assembled our egg light and we have the two cables completely separated and extended. We're going to place these two inside and proceed to incline the incline the basin so that we can place the plugs through the bottom of the basin. We're going to start with our um, pump uh, cord. Gonna put it through the hole. Obviously, you need some assistance. This is not a good idea to do on your own. Get one of the cables in, and then we'll take the uh, the cable from the egg light, and we're gonna put it also through the hole towards the back of the fountain. Now we align it. We align this with the channel that is provided on the basin at the bottom of it. We'll put it back in place. The next thing we want to do is make sure that we have enough cable. <clears throat> so that we can take it out of the 
so that we can take it out of the uh, the basin in case we need to do any kind of maintenance on it. So this should be just about enough room here. We also want to leave a little bit of room so that we can do the stop replacement. And so with that, we're going to take our putty here. We have pre-measured this part. And just right about here should be enough room for us to do it. So take the two cables together. Eddie, you want to hold the egg light cable? There. We're going to place party on this cable. We're going to cut it as it goes around. <clears throat> We're going to place the other one right here. And go around one more time. Now that we have it there, then we take the stopper. Make sure that the stopper is placed so that the um, narrower part goes towards the bottom. Right in there. See this the stopper hole will take the bigger cable, then the other one will line up with the slit. Then go around. Take this part, cut it just about there and use it to fill up that slit just a little more. Now we're going to take this part and we're going to pull the stopper through the basin through the bottom put the egg light one, yeah, a little bit more the egg light cable, there we go I'm going to place it right there Push it in as much as, as much as you can with your hands. You can also help yourself with a screwdriver to help it get it in there. Or even the, the, the galvanized pipe if you need to, if you don't have a screwdriver handy. Then take the remaining, the remaining uh, putty. Go around this one more time. And also over the slit of the stopper. Then we can place these items in here to continue our assembly. Okay, now we're going to assemble the tubing from the pump into the basin. All right, so we put our clamp over here, push the tubing inside, and then we just clamp it down and make it real tight against the pump outlet. Yeah, just hand tight is good enough. Make sure that the uh, tubing is secure. Then we're going to put our pump back in the basin. We have the clamp placed on the other end. Insert it into the copper tubing and once again just clamp it down and make it hand tight. There you go. Now we're ready for our next step. Okay, now uh, before we go to place the, the top part on the basin, we need to add some silicone uh, where the connection is going to be. Um, with your kit, you will receive the tube of silicone, but the gun won't be provided with it. What we want to do is, there's an edge already, there's a marking on the basin, and we're going to use that to line up a bead of silicone we don't want it to be too thick. We just want to go right along that edge. Put the bead. Now 
We also want to make sure that before we go through this, that our basing has been leveled so that when we go to place the next parts on top of it, you may have to just do some rechecking, but it will be mostly level already, especially if you're on gravel, if you're working on gravel. Going from one side to the next, and this is where we're going to place our piece right on top. And now we have our silicone placed over the basin. We have brought our second piece right on top. We have it etched, and what we want to do is we want to line up the PVC pipes on both ends. You want to leave just about a three quarters of an inch on each side, and we're going to tilt it and try to place it right on top. Now you will require some maneuvering here, but what you want to accomplish is make sure that the front of this wall and the front of the basing wall are pretty much flat with each other. After you have that and it's pretty much centered, then we try to place our galvanized pipes right on top. This one just went right through. Again, there might be some maneuvering necessary until you find the holes for the galvanized pipes. And then the silicone will seal that area right in between the two parts. Now uh, we have assembled the two main pieces on the basin and we're going to proceed with the pre-assembled tubing. We will also need our elbow and this all gets assembled in the back of it. As you can see there's a copper pipe that co comes from the basin. That's where we connected the pump through in the inside and then the tubing will push water towards the top through these two copper pipes that are right underneath our second piece. What we want to do here is use our silicone provided with the pump kit and just take a little bit of that silicone and place it around the copper pipes. So there are four points where we want to do this. These three, but also on the copper pipe that's in the pre-assembled tubing. We want to do this where it's covered fully, but not in excess. The reason for that is that we don't want this silicone to clog our pipes, which will create a, a flow issue with the fountain. So just cover fully around, and that's good enough. Always do it on the copper pipes. Don't put any inside the holes. Just put some around the copper pipes, the four points of entry. Got one more. And now that we have done this, we can go ahead and put the elbow looking straight up in there. Remember that with the silicone, you have to leave it there according to manufacturing instructions, which could be anywhere from 4 hours to 24 hours. Then with this pre-assembled tubing, we place the T, make it look like a T, right? And then these two pieces, right underneath. The clamp is a little too tight, you just get it on tight and try to go as much in as you can on those copper pipes. Clamp up a little bit. Then we're going to do the other one too. Try to bring the clamps up so that they cover the copper pipes. Make them hand tight. And then also make sure that all your connections 
are completely tight all the clamps that are provided with the assembly as they might not be completely tight when you get them generally speaking you don't need any silicone in these connections but if you happen to see any leaking on it you can always add some silicone now this is all hand tight and it's close enough to our wall that we should be able to get it close to the wall where we will be working on in this particular case because we're trying to show it with the camera we can't get it closer enough <clears throat> but what you want to do is have these two pieces as close to the wall maybe angled diagonally with the wall so that you can do all this assembly of the tubing once you have this then you can um, Put it right where you want it, maybe leaving just an inch out for, for the cables, but you can get it just as close to the wall as you want.